American Idol this week, and um, Jessica Williams, is that right? That's right, yeah. Yes. Um, so Jessica, yeah. um, tell me, and welcome to the show, and um, I hear you're a go-getter, so what is it that you go get with? Um, well, I'm really involved with music. Four and a half years ago, almost five years ago, I decided, um, you know, do I want to go and work for a music company and work with musicians and music that are sometimes okay, but, you know, not necessarily my cup of tea, or do I want to work with musicians that I really love and really, you know, spend every single day just living my dreams. So I started an independent record label, The Gold Records. Woo! And, uh, how, many, how many acts do you have on your uh, we, have, we have three exclusive artists under our label. And uh, all different genres of music, the three, so we really spread the gamut. So what are they? Uh, country music. Okay. Uh, uh, acoustic pop, really. Uh, kind of in the style of, I don't know, like the best way to describe it is like Nora Jones, but the Mel version of Nora Jones. Okay. Uh, and then uh, electronic rock, so. Wow. And so what do you think of that, guys? I think it's fabulous. I think it's uh, groundbreaking. I think it's, you know, it's a... What was I going to say? Yeah, you got to back me up, man. I'm 76 years old. I'm hip. In other words, it's like, that's what's up, dog. That's like really hip. I'm really proud to hear something like this. Very oh, courageous in this, yeah. in this time, in this too. When, when so, uh, how are we promoting these artists? Yeah. How are we promoting yeah. artists? Um, well, we've just worked really in a bunch of various ways uh, to promote them. Like with our uh, third album that we did and with uh, the group, The Suicide Denial, what we decided we do is we were just going to give their music away. So, if you go to the suicidedenial.com, you can download their music for free. Of course, if you want to purchase it, you can go to iTunes. But even if you go to our website, we'll send you a free copy. And what is yourself. your website? DivulgeRecords.com. Spell it. D-I-V-U-L-G-E Records, R-E-C-O-R-D-S, dot com. And, um, question, um, who pays for the recording? Oh, well, uh, I went the traditional route and got a business loan. So. Good for you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Are you right. from New York? No, but I'm moving to New York. That's actually why I'm here. That's the coolest thing is, you know, after four and a half years, you decide, like, it's time to take it to the next level. You know? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. There's only so much you can do living, you know. Good for you. We're all about business, business on, on this show. Idaho, the land of potatoes. Oh, oh the land of potatoes. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, it's oh. National Potato Day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I have a flashcard oh, of potatoes. Gosh. I have all, I have barbecue, spicy jalapeno, plain, oh. and chili. What, 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 what's your favorite? I, I have to go with chili. I would chili may love. Well, you get the first Ooh, potato of the day. Ooh. I'm so excited. I'm a potato connoisseur. Like, no would you like potatoes, guys? I got it's National sure, Potato sure. Day. Come on. Yeah. Give it up. Keep it, uh, keep it in the wow. Spirit. You know, Idaho yeah. is in the freaking yeah. air. So we, wow, that's really cool. So are you a musician as well? I mean, I used to consider myself a musician, but then when I started working with such talented people, I really don't consider myself a musician anymore because I'm like, oh, I'd rather just hide in the corner when I see this amazing talent oozing from all these amazing people we work with, from like engineers, producers, then of course my musicians, they're the best in the world. Are they from Idaho? Um, no, actually, my musicians are from California, um, from Oregon. How did they find you, and how did they get the lucky record deal? Oh, um, well, one of my musicians, uh, originally, uh, we were going to college together, and he was really good then, and he went on and got a degree, he can write prescriptions and everything Wait, like that. Wait, what? Write prescriptions? Yeah, he's a PA, so. Oh, he's a good Do you have his phone number? <laughs> I Wait a minute. Uh, a secret. Yeah. I'm sure Charlie Sheen would like to get a hold of that prescription. Like, this is Charlie Sheen. Oh, oh Charlie. He trashed the hotel room. Wow. <laughs> I know. He's a, they were spelling, like, who's on that list right now, and he's on the list with, um, it's the Tyler problem. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute now. Actually, I haven't trashed for at least a decade. Oh, I read okay. it and I already forgot who was number one. I think he made number two or three, Charlie. Um, Courtney Love was on the list. Yeah, um, know. Know. Yeah, one of the um, one of the Rob Baldwin brothers was Roger on the list. He wasn't on the list. Roger yeah. Dolphy was number one. No, he wasn't number one. I met him once, though. Well, Roger Dolce can't even pick up a TV. Maybe Keith Moon. No, it wasn't Keith, Keith Moon. Moon. It's, oh, it's in the Metro magazine. Keith um, Richards? It wasn't Keith Richards. Ooh. Johnny Depp. That, he was number one. Oh, oh, Johnny Depp. Oh, Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we're the three moths. Together, we're trouble. And they were number one on the list. That was it. It came to me. I guess I'm not Steven Tyler. Oh, I, <laughs> I remembered. All right, back to you, out. Jessica. Oh, back to you. Great. Let's go back to Jessica now. So, Jessica, are you looking for new artists, or are you happy with your three? Like, what do you? What is your plan in the next like year? Well, moving to New York, my plan is to like branch out, to really take the bold records and my current artists to the next level. And also, um, my best friend from college lives here, and she was kind of a driving force with getting me here. And uh, she's an amazing actor. I mean, there's so many in New York. She's so good. And she's here living her dream. And she said, you know, I was really tired of getting all of these roles that were just kind of crummy roles for me. And you're such a business person. You've been doing this for, you know, almost five years with music. How do you feel about coming and working on some projects with me with film, too? And I was like, I can do that. And so um, I'm also going to be kind of branching over into, like, film and doing blogging and things like that. Well, we would and love you on the show and being a business person. <laughs> yeah. We love well business people to work with us on And of course, uh, of course, one of the big things is trying to get the music into the movie. Well, yeah, you can't have Yeah, you licensing. Can, oh. And television. Yeah, you can have and licensing. Things. You can and have music tools. without film, but you can't have film without music. So really, it's a cup of tea. And I've worked on some, you know, um, music videos before, too, so I've really loved it. Can you so, name, like, one or two that you've worked on? Oh, yeah. Um, my musician, Carrie Cunningham, Smile Again. Uh, that's the music video that you can, you know, YouTube and stuff, and it's great. YouTube, big, oh, big, yeah. Big, big. yeah, it's big. You know, viral is really the way to go because you can get it out there, and also it's a way for independence to really go out there and make it's it. It's a different it. world from when we started in this that's industry. Right. And I want to commend you because the Speak the mic, Stephen. Huh? Here. So oh, thank you. What I was going to say, what was I going to say? Oh. I was going to say that the record companies don't know what's going on right now. So for you to do this, you're a musician's best friend, an indie artist's best friend. So I just want to tip my hat to you. But we're all indie artists right now. That's even true. even like giant artists, we're all in the same boat so yeah. really, of the way it goes right now. Well, major labels have really just fallen so short on... Um, yeah, I am looking for another label right Well, shh, that's... that's you know, I'm doing TV now, so like, you know, I got kids. It's, it's, yeah, but keep it under the radar. We, yeah, don't divulge too much information. Yeah, I love it. Uh, yeah. We're a superstar. Yeah. I forgot we were superstars. I just okay. I always forget. Yeah. yeah. Like because we show. take it for granted. I do. I take it. Right. Amy Grant, right? I, I, don't I love Amy Grant. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, she was cute. Yeah. <laughs> you took her for granted. Yeah. Oh, Steven, Steven, <laughs> Steven. You know, I met you once before, Steven. You know where? Uh -oh. uh, Frederick's of Holland. Had you know. <laughs> and I, yeah, that's where this came from. It, I know, I bought a lot I of stuff. Know, I know. I forgot my black man. You kind of dressed so similar. I mean, um, <laughs> don't tell anybody what's going on. Love in an elevator. That was a fun one. That was a lot of fun. I know. I pressed the red button. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, back to the eyeballs. <laughs> Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. We're going to take a little quick break, and then we're going to come back and ask her a little something that you may or may not be ready to share. Okay. Yeah. We'll be back. Bung is dead. One thirty-seven West Fourteenth Street, New York City. This is a happening spot. Wait, this is a spot. Oh, sorry. All right. All right. Now, 